Behind me, a filled room of 9-11 first responders. And in front of me, a nearly empty Congress. Shameful. Nearly 18 years after 9-11, a victim compensation fund is running out of money. We have the facts. Former Daily Show host Jon Stewart has put the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund back in the spotlight with emotional testimony before a House panel. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell took to Fox & Friends to respond. Many things that Congress have at the last minute, we've never failed to address this issue, and we will address it again. I don't know why he's all been out of shape. I'm not been out of shape. I'm fine. I'm been out of shape for them. The 9-11 attacks killed almost 3,000 people, including more than 400 first responders. About 2,000 more people, including another nearly 400 firefighters and police, died of cancer that developed from exposure to ash, chemicals, and toxic materials. As the years following 9-11 have worn on, many first responders have seen their health continue to decline. I will not stand by and watch as my friends with cancer, 9-11, like me, are valued less than anyone else. More than 50,000 people have been diagnosed with a 9-11 related health issue, including up to 50 types of cancer, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund was set up to help pay for medical and economic losses. As of February 2019, the fund had already used $5 billion of the $7.4 billion currently allocated without renewed funding. And as of May 2019, over six 16,000 eligibility claims were still being processed according to the fund. The day after Stewart and first responders spoke, the House Judiciary Committee passed the bill to extend the fund. But in order for it to become law, it must pass the full House and Senate and then be signed by President Trump.